What is going on everybody? My name is Northy, and today we're opening up some more highlights cards. Select, of course, continuing their weekly tradition of releasing some 24-hour cards. Uh, this one is for round four, I believe. Um, I don't think anything too crazy special. However, I believe this was the round for the young Adelaide gun, which is actually really, really exciting. Liking the way he plays, but praying that soon enough North Melbourne youngster Jason Horn Francis gets himself on. I really want to pick it up. Uh, if he did it in round six, uh, or if he does it in round six, I'll be super, super happy. Who knows? But uh, nonetheless, we'll see what happens. So, rip open this bad boy. And uh, one of my favorite parts is always checking to see uh, which color the pouch ends up being, as this one's taken a lot of might. Is it hiding something from me? I'm not too sure, but there we go. If we rip the top open, that's beautiful. Now, what color are we looking for today? Please, no, red. Green, yes, I've been waiting for a green for a long time. I really, really like green. It's my favorite color, so it's good to get one. It is a dark green. I do like the lighter green. Neon green's pretty cool, but that's picky stuff. We don't care about the package as much. We just care about what's inside. Hopefully some decent numbered highlights. So, without further ado, let's rip into this one. Of course, the massive thing. Here we go. We have a check, and that is the young gun, Josh Rochelle. What a what a lovely card. And then behind him, we've got Willy Rioli. These two guns of the game at the moment, of course. Willy Rioli coming back from his long suspension, having a decent season for himself. And then Josh Rochelle really uh, coming out and becoming a strong performer. Uh, we'll go with Willy's first, because I don't think many people will be too interested. Maybe, who knows? It's a Rioli. Yeah, we always love Riolis in this, in this beautiful game. So let's see what number we managed to pull here. Number 52 of 218. We do like seeing a zero at the start. 52. Not a bad one. We'll take it. Uh, the West Coast Eagles flew east to tackle Collingwood, with few giving the winless and undermanned Eagles any chance of toppling the in for Magpies. That they recorded an inspir inspiring come from behind victory had a lot to do with Rioli, who kicked three clutch goals. The classy forwards first came from a courageous mark running with the flight of the ball, and his last gave him his team the lead with just over five minutes remaining after outmarking John Noble and converting from 40 meters. Lovely little highlight there, Willie Rioli doing big things for himself. Good to see him having a successful career again. But then, Josh Rochelle, this one is really, really exciting. He's having a decent season for himself. Uh, really putting his name out there, giving some impact to the game and the Adelaide side. So I'm interested to see what number we get for him. It is number 205. Again, nothing crazy with the numbers. Uh, number 205 though of 330. That's a fair bit printed out for the Adelaide player. But exciting small forward who has produced a blistering start to his AFL career with 10 goals in the opening four rounds, including five on debut against the Fremantle Dockers. Day after turning 19, the Shepherd and teenager picked up the round four NAB AFL Rising Star nomination for another three majors in the Adelaide Crows one kick loss to Essendon. Rochelle had seven score involvements among his 19 disposals and took an equal game high nine marks. That's a top-notch effort from Rochelle, uh, especially the day after turning 19 getting the nomination. That is good stuff. That is a top-notch performance from him. Uh, unfortunately, no notable numbers today, but nonetheless, some really, really nice cards that I'm happy are involved in this video here today. But put them back in our oversized top load. I still don't know why they've gone with the oversized top loaders as the regular sending, especially after the first week. They sent regular top loaders, so I don't know what it's all about. But Nonetheless, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little opening bit. We will soon get ourselves that highlight we're looking for, that Night Rising Star card that we get uh, with the 001 will be worth it. So, thank you all for watching this part, and let's get into some packs. And we are here for the 12 packs of Footy Stars 2022. Of course, we are looking to try and keep our luck going. Finding ourselves a box hit last week. Sorry for the camera movement. <laughs> these these ca corded cameras... Uh, getting very annoying, but uh, last week managed to get that awesome box hit. Uh, be sure to go check out that video, by the way. Uh, last Saturday, getting a nice box hit. So hopefully today we can repeat here. Still looking for an above the box odds hit. Hopefully we can find one here today, but anything is always very, very much appreciated from you select. So thank you so, so very much uh, for what you did last week, but let's try and do it again. We're always happy 
to uh, do whatever we can to make sure that we can get ourselves a big week, a big week, a big win, whatever it may be. Obviously, every week doesn't necessarily mean uh, we need a big box hit, but it'd be a preferable uh, choice here, obviously. We've got ourselves Zach Bailey, Anthony McDonald, Tip and Woody, Ebony Marinoff, uh, Tom Hawkins, and our first insert is going to be a Mason Redmond Starburst Paint. Starting off the way it was last week, to be fair, we got a lot of Starburst Paints last week, so hopefully uh, nothing similar there. Next pack, I'm almost rushing through these to start, I will quickly mention, but yes, 12 packs as per usual. Um, I hope that the 12 packs remains as entertaining to you guys as it is to me, because when we did 9 packs of select, I found myself very quickly um, rushing through it all. Maybe it's because of the amount of box hits and the chances of getting yourselves an above the box uh, above the box odds hit. Especially at um, Team Coach, I'm always looking for case hits, but uh, in Select, it's more looking for the notable cards. Uh, I think there's much more um, choice when it comes to Select, so hopefully we can find ourselves some good stuff here today. Getting ourselves uh, Ainsley McCarthy before our insert, which is going to be... Oh, that's a good one, Aaron Phillips. 30 year anniversary. Um, I'm recording this on the day that she went ahead and signed with Port Adelaide. So very, very nice to see an Aaron Phillips right there. And a Daisy Pierce as well. Three straight AFLW cards. Aisling, then Aaron, and then Daisy. Brody Smith there to start. Jacob Wiedering, Mark Blitzarves. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Oh, here it is. That was unexpected. Woo, okay. I did not expect that. I was kind of expecting another common. But there it is. 2022 Coleman Medal Predictor for the Western Bulldogs. Okay. Righto. Interesting stuff there. Braden Maynard in there as well. Uh, but wow. Okay. Over the box odds. This is my first case hit predictor. I've got a lot of Brownlow predictors, but this is my first case hit predictor. Being the Western Bulldogs Coleman Predictor. Let's see what number... Number 45, um, pretty low to be fair, uh, 45 out of 185, which is really, really nice. Um, so uh, picks for that, are maybe Wait Waitman, I don't think he'd do it, but probably Norton is our goal here. Josh Bruce obviously out for a lot of the season, so he won't be getting the Coleman. But Aaron Norton will be our bigger pick, so if we do manage to uh, get uh, pick up a really, really good card, or, uh, or Norton decides to have a good season, this card becomes a lot more valuable, but wow. It's not the worst one. It's not the worst predictor to get because uh, the dogs do have a notable forward, but I don't know if it'll go to the dogs this year. With the way it's going so far, it could go to the Saints. It could go to the Cats, obviously, because Hawkins always does well. Cameron's been doing well. I'm trying to think who else has been playing really, really well of late. Uh, maybe... Uh, Finn Layson or something like that. I'm not too sure. Port Adelaide, I don't think will be the right one. But the Dogs isn't the worst one. Norton could do it. Um, I think Hawthorne have a uh, player who's close to the top as well. There's a fair few at the top right now. I'm just trying to think off the top of my head. But that is not a bad pull at all. Okay, I will take that. Great stuff, Select. Beautiful. I wanted a case hit predictor for a while. And I was given one today. That's awesome. Nick Hind. Katie Brennan. Lockie Hunter, Liam Ryan, and our insert's going to be Sarah Perkins, Gold Coast Suns, Purple Parallel. We like to see that, but I just very quickly want to point out that the uh, Coleman predictors, if we look on the back here, are one in every 432 packs. So that's pretty good. Uh, I know it's probably pretty hard to read there. The focus isn't too great right now. But that's a pretty good pull. I'm happy with that for sure. Hopefully, uh, I'll be cheering on Norton now, but he has a habit of missing from straight out in front, especially with their goal-kicking woes so far from what it looks like. Just in general, they get a lot of scoring shots, but not too many uh, accurate days. We've got Isaac Heaney to start, Lachlan Scholl, Meg McDonald, Kane Lambert, and a GWS Giants milestone, Josh Kelly, 150 games. A nice one there. Uh, really, really hoping that he's new. <laughs> Always hoping that they're new, if we're being completely honest, but... I'm still a little um, shocked by that by that Coleman medal predictor. That's actually super sick. Um, probably would be happier with the likes of Geelong or St. Kilda. I'm not 100% sure which way it's going to swing, but dogs could do it. Def it definitely could be an alright one. I've got ourselves Sammy Walsh, Dane Zorko, 
Nick Cox, Isabella Lewis, and we find ourselves a game breaker. Tex Walker came back, did pretty well. Did good stuff for him. Um, yeah, just hoping. I'm, I'm still kind of just thinking about the Coleman predictor. There's definitely someone I'm missing. I know Tom's doing well. I know Max is doing well. Uh, ben, no, not Ben. Um, that's my, that's my Mackay. Harry Mackay is probably up there as well. It's a pretty tight race so far, and it's not just two players. Last year it was kind of Mackay and Hawkins battling it out, and Mackay took it eventually. But uh, this year there's a fair few uh, contenders for it. Zach Williams. And a Carl Amon, Starburst Paint. Definitely have him. Seen him a fair share of times. But I'm almost certain that it's a four or five man race right now for the Coleman medal. So really, really interesting stuff there. Um, I don't know if Norton's in contention right now. Larky was doing okay, but I really do not have faith in that man. And it's only because of the team he plays on. And uh, still growing into his shoes right now. He's trying to fill the old Ben Brown role, but... Obviously, it's not going to be easy to fill a nearly Coleman medalist and now Premiership player's uh, shoes. It's always going to be tough. Uh, Errol Gordon, Luke Shuey, and a Zach Bailey. Oh, the nose, mate. The nose! <laughs> Starburst will always get me with that. I, I don't like him, and I like him sometimes. Like, Nick Nat is a really, really good Starburst. Zach Bailey, on the other hand, is probably a horrific Starburst. The disrespect that the Starburst cards show uh, the AFL players is just absolutely ridiculous. We've got ourselves Isabel Huntington, Jack Solvani, Daniel Rich, Dion Prestia, and Pebble Foil. Nor Ben Mackay. I've got my fair share of Ben Mackay's. <laughs> oh, look, uh, speaking of Ben Mackay, we're going back to back. All right, fair enough. Ben Mackay, double trouble. Maybe it's Harry Mackay, because I remember <laughs> the, the meme going on as of recent is that you've never seen Ben Mackay and Harry Mackay in the same game. <laughs> I'm interested to see the day they finally play each other. I definitely want to go to that game, but it uh, doesn't look like it's going to be happening this week, considering that uh, Ben Mackay was handed a one-game suspension. Uh, we've got Tex Walker, Darcy Vessio, Oliver Florent, Jeremy Cameron, and another one, Maxi King. Uh, we we're talking about Coleman predictor, predictors and Coleman favourites. There's a Coleman favourite right there, Maxi King. Although, kicking one goal seven against GWS is probably not helping him. <laughs> Potential eight goals and walking away with one will probably feel a little disappointing. We've got ourselves Josh Kennedy, Zach Merritt, Ellie McKenzie. Jack McRae and Milestone. It is 100. Sam Menengola. I haven't seen much of him so far this season, but thankfully he got to his 100 game milestone. Good on you, Sam. Good work. And final pack of this video. Can we squeak out a box hit here? Would be nice. Otherwise, it sets us up for a lot of box hits in the uh, next pack opening. Either way, we still get a fair few box hits to go. And uh, I'm very, very excited to show off next week's packs as well. We got ourselves Rory Sloan, Lucky Neal, Tom Lynch, 30th year Mitch Duncan, and a Game Breakers Dylan Moore, who is actually having a really, really good season so far. So good on him for that. But 30 year anniversary, Mitch Duncan. Hope he's new, because uh, 30 year anniversary cards are very, very picky to find. But wow, what a great pack opening. Getting ourselves a case hit. Coleman medal predictor West and Bulldogs numbered 45 which is decently low hopefully Norton pulls out a, a half decent season and maybe picks himself up a Coleman medal I don't know the odds of that but it'd be great if he could so so far it is early in the season but I'm quickly listing off the leaderboard the first place is Tom Hawkins with 20 second is Jeremy Cameron with 19 so two Geelong players leading the race so far with 20 and 19 Joe Danaher also has 19 though for Brisbane we got ourselves Max King with 17, could be 20 for sure, should be at least 20 with uh, his the amount of set shots he had against GWS, but didn't make the most of them. Zach Bailey is a surprising one, 16 goals for Brisbane. We got Charlie Kerno, who's doing really, really well so far with 16. Mitch Lewis was the one I was thinking of, who also has 15. Aaron Norton, our man for this one, has 15 as well. He is tied with Rich and Heaney. So... There's still a chance that this can do well. There's definitely no saying that it won't go well for us. But so far, Geelong is in the lead and has two comfortable favourites for the Coleman medal. So we'll see how that one goes. But nonetheless, not a bad card. I will definitely 
be happy to pick this one up. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment down below in the video, ideas, suggestions, and constructive criticism, and subscribe to the channel if you are new. So thank you all so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.